Hello, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and in this video I want to walk you through using artboards and grids. When beginning any interface design, artboards are a great place to start. And setting up these artboards in the right way will make your life much easier in the future. So let me walk you through how I set up my first artboards in a project. So here we're already starting out with an iPhone artboard. You can also create new artboards with these artboard template sizes. Or we can just drag a rectangle and create a custom artboard size. But here I'm just going to design a login screen, so I'll just use this first iPhone artboard. So this artboard is 375 pixels by 667 pixels, and that's the same size as an iPhone 6 screen. But I know in my product pages I'm going to have content that goes beyond this size. So if I stretch this artboard to be taller, you'll notice this dashed line here. And this dashed line represents the viewport height. We can see that that's set here at 667 because that's the height of the device. And if we open preview, we can see what this looks like. So if we draw a circle here, and I'm just going to draw this to intersect with the viewport height, and you can see that half of this circle is hiding beyond this viewport. If you scroll up, you can see the other half, and so that just sets the height in which it starts to scroll. And if you turn this off, what it will do is just fit this artboard inside the preview without any scrolling. So for most of my designs, I like to keep this viewport height on and set to 667, and that's the first place to start with setting up your artboards. We also want to enable grids to make our lives easier laying out our objects. This will help us align our objects nicely on a grid system. So I'm going to enable grid here, and we can see that this grid is 8 pixels by 8 pixels, but I want to change this to 15 pixels. If I change this and hit return, you can see the pixels in the artboard got a lot larger, and I can also set this as my default so when I create new artboards, this is the grid size that I get. You can also click use default to go back to a default grid size after changing it. So now that we have our first artboard set up, I want to reuse these settings here, so I'm just going to hold down Option and drag this artboard to create a new copy. And for this first layer, I want to call this the login screen, and this second layer I'm going to call this the product page. And I know the login screen isn't going to need scrolling, so I'm just going to change the size back to the default height and then I will keep scrolling enabled here. So these are just a few settings that'll make your life much easier when beginning a new design. 